Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial and today it's on the ShopX plugin. So this is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to easily create shops in a GUI, set the prices to buy and sell items and create multiple shops. So overall it's super easy to use and it's fantastic. So if we do full slash shop and then list it's going to tell us all the different ones and then what we could do is shop one to open the first one. Now this one's called test and as you can see I've actually designed it and customized how it looks so you can't actually buy these items it just makes it look different. And then you can see each item says left click to buy for $20 and right click for $10 and then you can set each price and the location of each item. So what we could do is buy loads of these and then sell them back for a last, probably not the best idea but you could. And then if we do shop 2 that's going to open my other shop. This one looks slightly different as you can see you can change the size of the shop which is cool. So if we want to create a shop what we can do is shop create and then we have to choose the size. So this has to be a multiple of 9. Uh, let's do 36 and then we're going to call it food and that's going to create an ID for the shop. So now if we do shop edit and then three, it's going to give us a very boring looking GUI and you can see it's called food at the top. So what you can do is grab some items, we've got some here and hold shift and left click them in. It will close the GUI and then we need to write the buying price. So for one of these it's going to be, I don't know, $5 and then the selling price, let's do $2 and then we can see we have the item in here. Now what you can do is move it around if you want just to you know, make it look a little bit nicer and then we can add all the other ones as well. So this one might be $12 and then sell for six and we can move this one here as well. Add the last two items, let's do 50 for this one and then if you don't want to sell it or don't want to buy it, you want to put minus one to prevent that from happening. And you can see minus one, that means it's not sellable. And there we go, we've got our three items and I've put them in like this, nice little design in the middle. Now if I want to edit how it looks, what we can do is four slash shop design and then three. So that's gonna show you the blank GUI. And what we can do is grab any item such as panes and then do a nice little border around it, for example and then maybe fill in some of these. And then if we close that and then do shop three, you can see the only ones that are available are the ones with items in, and that is how you could make it look nice and colorful if you wanted to. Now if we do full slash shop admin, that's gonna show us the main commands. So you can obviously do shop delete if you wanted to get rid of one, so delete number two. So that is how you would create a shop in-game. As you can see, it's super easy compared to some of the other plugins, which take quite a while to set up. And here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.7 to 1.19. These are the two main commands, so it's very easy to set up. And as you can see, it works fantastically. And if you have any issue with it, you can contact the developer. So that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.